Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will continue our previous Stable Diffusion Comfy UI workflow for video to video processing. As we discussed in the community post, we will use an upscaler to enhance the sharpness of the output video. So, I have created these two groups. Additionally, I've added IP Adapter Plus to this workflow. Why? You may ask. Well, I want to test different image styles for the animation characters and I don't need an extensive amount of text prompts to generate what I want. As you can see in this example, I'm using a rainbow colored theme with a metal texture for a fairy character in the image source. Many have likened this method to an instant one image LoRa, and it also works for animate diff generation. As you can see in the output result, the dancing character's hair and outfit have changed in style to match the image. For demonstration purposes, I'm using upscale latent with a 1.2x upscale for each frame. This saves time and allows for more iterations. I've also created another group for upscaler with models. You can use 4x ultra sharp or other upscaling models by connecting this node. But for this tutorial demo, I'm only using upscale latent. Adding more details and fixing some issues in the face and hands are sufficient. Now, let's try another image with the IP adapter, aka the instant LoRa method. This time I'm using an image that some subscribers might remember from our previous video. I'm employing the IP adapter plus SD 1.5 model, not the face only model. To obtain IP adapter plus, you can download it from the Comfy UI manager. Simply search for IP adapter and you'll find Comfy UI IP adapter plus. Install it and restart your Comfy UI. To use this feature, you'll also need to go to their GitHub page. And download IP adapter models in the installation section. They offer Stable Diffusion 1.5 and SDXL models. Choose the one you prefer and download it to the specified folder path in this section. As you can see, I've downloaded both SD 1.5 and SDXL IP adapter models in my setup. However, for it to work with Animate Diff, we can currently only use SD 1.5 for this animation. We hope that Animate Diff will support SDXL in the near future. Now back to the animation workflow. We're using an image of falling leaves and flowing water to see if we can add an effect like this to our dance video output. Before proceeding, ensure you've selected SD 1.5 based checkpoint models. Then double check everything and we can proceed with the generation. Here's the output. As you can see, there are some leaves falling and water flowing effects, although they might not be perfect. The IP adapter captures most of the water flow in the animation's background using this image. Let's try another image for the demo. This time I'm using a cyberpunk style image to see what happens.
It's the same source video, but now it is applied a different hair color and a heavier makeup style to the character. Let me place the images side by side for a better view. And there you have it. We can change the style of a character in an animation using Stable Diffusion IPA Adapter. I hope this inspires your creativity. If you enjoy this kind of tutorial, please subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. I hope this helps you address some of the questions you may have regarding Stable Diffusion and Comf UI. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.